Hey, everybody. Most people know who Ansel Adams is, especially if you're a landscape photographer. And Ansel Adams was known for a lot of different things, especially dodging and burning uh, as an artist in the darkroom. But he also created something called the Zone System. And what I'm going to do is show you something I discovered in one of my favorite plugins for Photoshop on getting involved with converting an image to black and white, but using the zone system. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, this channel is dedicated to photography and also being a photo artist, pushing yourself to think creatively out of the box. All right, let's talk about uh, this person right here. Uh, most people know who that is, especially if you're a landscape photographer, and that is Ansel Adams. And what was he known for? And that was his black and white contrasty type images developed a system called the zone system for black and white conversion. It was just a master uh, in the darkroom doing dodging and burning, but also experimenting with the chemicals that were used to process the negatives and uh, the actual prints. But this is not about working with chemicals. This is about using Photoshop and one of my favorite plugins that I know of that I've mentioned a few times. Again, no affiliation with them, and that is Boris Effects optics. So I'm going to use that here. So right here in uh, Photoshop. So let's dive into the program. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this so we can have a before and after. So again, um, this is just <clears throat> a basic landscape shot that I took when I was with my daughter out in uh, Moab, Utah, uh, back in 2023. And again, I'm not a landscape photographer, but unbelievable the scenery uh, out in the Moab area. Anyhow, um, let's take a look at a, just a different technique of converting a uh, color photo into black and white. So I just created a shortcut keystroke uh, to pull up optics here. So uh, let me just open this up. And again, normally you would find it under your filter drop down menu in Photoshop. It'd be toward the bottom. You would find that plugin. Okay, so I'm just going to say no on this. It always wants to possibly use my previous uh, use of this program and the filter in this example, the answer is no. Okay, so um, I don't know why they call it this, but uh, they don't call it the zone system. So right here in this area, uh, I'm going to click in that spot and just do a search. And uh, they call it ozone. Now, why it's called ozone, I don't know. Um, can't answer that. But anyhow, uh, when I click on this right here, this opens up a bunch of presets on the left side in this window. Now, what we're here for is conversion to black and white. But what's really cool is you can actually use this zone system for color photographs, if you wish. So over here on the far right, this is where you're going to see the word zone. And it's broken down from 0 to 10. So there's like 11 different zone areas. And you can see down here the descriptions, there's the red information, green, blue, uh, that are in our channels that we can use, saturation, brightness, contrast, that kind of stuff. Well, we're not working uh, in color with this example, but you could. But we're going to do black and white. So I'm going to choose this right here, the preset. And that allows me now to come over to the area called zone. And by default, uh, it's on my uh, fifth zone area. So just by coming down here, I could apply some blue and let's desaturate this and I'll push this to the left. So anything where there's a little bit of blue uh, in that zone or if I push it up, you can see how that lightens it up a little bit. There is a reset button. So I'm just going to choose that to go back to zero. Again, everything I'm going to do here is really subjective. It's really based on your image and the look and feel that you want to get. So an example, uh, under contrast, uh, right now, if I push that up, you can see what's happening to the contrast in that zone right there. Uh, if I go to zero, as an example, I can affect that area if I want by going to maybe brightness, pull down the brightness a little bit, add some more contrast in that area. 
Uh, in the greens, I do have some greens up front, but I could play with that to get the look that I want. And again, I'm just sort of scrubbing over these areas. I can hit the reset button. So what's really cool about this whole thing, again, is we could break this up into sections and the zones and get the look that we want to get, right? It's not what um, somebody else wants. It's really based, again, on our image. So I think this is a really cool feature. Uh, if you're learning anything, if you can do me a favor, and that is like this video, subscribe if you have not subscribed, and hit that notification bell. The next time I upload a video, you will get notified uh, from YouTube. Also, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at my personal email address, which is right here at the bottom of the screen. It's Stephen photoartist at gmail.com. It's also in my show notes. Okay, so again, playing with this is pretty cool. Uh, again, just you know, picking out the areas if I want to add a little bit more brightness to this and control each section, that's up to me. When I'm done with this, so all I have to do is choose Apply. And um, since I was just playing with this really fast, I mean, this, again, is a little bit too bright for me, but um, I'm pushing this up so we can see this on video. But again, uh, quick before and after by, that's what I started with, that's what I ended up with. And again, I could further manipulate that, but uh, a pretty cool feature built into optics using the zone system. You just do a search for ozone. Okay, so with that out of the way, this is a quick video, not that long. Hopefully, again, you learned something. Uh, again, I want to thank people for uh, supporting the channel by going to uh, buy me a coffee forward slash uh, Stephen Photo Artist. Uh, you could go to that. The, the link is in the show notes. And also, uh, let's get that camera out and think creatively, literally out of the box. Until next time, see ya!